this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your knowledge of sound science and some simple materials at home to create your very own musical instrument for playing some of your favorite tunes. For this instrument, all I needed was some different vessels to hold water, and then I filled them up with different amounts of water. That's important because it's going to leave different amounts of space for the air to vibrate back and forth because we already know that sound is simply vibrating air. So you can see in this bottle, I have very little space for the air to move around because it's filled up pretty high. So the air is going back and forth like this and it's going to create a higher pitch sound than my jar that has much more space for the air to bounce back and forth. And because that's bouncing back and forth slower, it's going to sound lower. Can you think of any other instruments that use the same principle of air vibrating to create notes of different pitches? That's right, my flute also uses vibrating air to create notes of different pitches. But exactly how does it do that? Well, if you look back at my jars, you can see that in each jar, I left a different amount of space for air. That way that this bottle over here that produces the lowest pitched sound has more space for the air to vibrate. Since there's more space, that sound wave is taking longer to go back and forth. And we know that if it's taking longer, that means the frequency is lower, so the pitch will sound lower. But if there's less space for the air to vibrate back and forth, it's going to go back and forth much more quickly and create a higher pitch sound. Then all I had to do to make this instrument was to fill up my bottles at the just right level for the notes I wanted for my holiday jingle. My flute works very similarly. I'm going to press different buttons on my flute that are going to allow the air to vibrate either faster or slower depending on how much space they have to go back and forth. This is just like our experiment from last week. Now my flute falls into a category of instruments called woodwinds and woodwinds use vibrating air to create notes of different pitches. So technically I guess I could say that my instrument that I created is a woodwind. But what if you don't have jars like this? The next time you have a straw, you can use your straw and turn it into a woodwind instrument. There are two types of woodwind instruments. There are flutes, like the one you saw before, and there are reed instruments. And reed instruments work because they have this little piece of wood called a reed that vibrates back and forth. So to turn your straw into a woodwind instrument, you are going to make it more into a reed type instrument. That means we need to give it a space to vibrate. That's going to produce the sound. So friends, all you need to do to turn your straw into a woodwind instrument is look at the top and then you are going to cut sideways twice. You're going to cut from the inside to the outside like this and like this to create this little reed area, being careful not to cut off too much. You can always cut off more if you didn't cut off enough. So you can see there's my first cut. I just cut it on the side and then I'm going to make my second cut. I'm going to squish it and then make my second cut. So now you can see the top. I have this opening and then there's these two slits on either side. So let's see what happens now when I blow into my new straw clarinet. Okay, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. I remember this from a couple of years ago. You can get it to work eventually. I can feel it vibrating in my mouth too. This is fun. So friends, find a straw, cut it like this. And then to create different pitches, you can make your actual straw shorter. Notice what happens when I cut the straw while blowing air vibrating through it. Oh gosh, we gotta get that vibration going again. It's tricky. Practice my 
bit better. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you hear it? Did you hear that the pitch went up when I cut this shorter? It's working the exact same way that my jars did than before because now the air has less space to vibrate and go back and forth. Now it's going faster and so it's creating a pitch that's higher. So friends, those are two ways that you can make musical instruments at home. I am going to show you one more way that you can create musical instruments at home, but this time, let's look at string instruments. Okay, so an example of a string instrument is a ukulele. String instruments use vibrating strings to vibrate the air to create different pitched sounds. They do this in two main ways. The first way is by having different weighted strings. You'll see on my ukulele that this high pitched string is the thinnest and has the least amount of mass, while this low pitched string is the thickest and has the most mass. Because the string is carrying more mass back and forth, that causes it to vibrate slower, so it makes the pitch sound lower. This string is the opposite. Since it has very little mass to carry around with it, it's able to vibrate much more quickly, making that pitch higher. So that is one way that string instruments create different pitches, but they also create different pitches with tension. The tighter something is pulled, the more quickly it will vibrate. You can see on my ukulele right here, if I play this note, and I make the string looser, it vibrates slower and the pitch goes down. But if I make it tighter, it vibrates faster and the pitch goes up and up and up and up and up. So at home, you can use these same principles of sound to make your very own string instrument. Here is my makeshift string instrument. All I needed to do was find a vessel and then find some rubber bands to wrap around it. I chose this metal bowl because I know that sound energy echoes a lot off of metal and bounces around and I wanted to make a more echoey instrument. I also made a less echoey instrument so when you are at home, you can choose what material you want to use depending on how you want your instrument to sound. But all I did was I placed these rubber bands around and then I pulled it tighter or made it looser to change the pitch of the sound it makes, see? So if I want that higher, I would have to pull it tighter. Beautiful! Oh, and you can hear the metal being the material too. You can hear how that sound energy is back, bouncing back and forth even more. So if that's your acoustic preference, maybe you want to do the same thing. If you want something that echoes less, maybe you choose a plastic container with some cloths underneath to absorb that sound. All right, friends, I hope you have fun making some instruments at home and I will see you soon. Bye. was cool. I'm very happy with myself. I feel accomplished. That was my straw flute.